guys, welcome back. As you see, Tasha's still here. What's that? Oh, that's she. <laughs> guys welcome back to the village and like i said tasha's still here so we still sitting down with my sister hey sitting down with my sister hey um we had so much fun we're actually going to continue the conversation and we're going to just pick up right where we left off at which was talking about these married men <laughs> so um one thing that's really getting me is like we said the marrieds are very aggressive they will talk to you uh, at work, at church, at the grocery store, um, and at the mall. Mall. Trying to shoe shop. Leave me alone. Yeah, and sometimes they won't have on their ring. Sometimes they do. Um, sometimes they'll, most of the time they're honest that, yeah, I am married. Like, they don't even try to lie about, no, nah, this is just, you know, we maybe we're separated. Yeah. Or, you know, we're just trying to work things out. No, nope. she at home. Oh, they won't say nothing, but you ask, you married? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You said that like I asked you, did you want something to drink? Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh. And and then they'd be like, I thought you were. No. What gave you that? Like, I'm going to claim that marriage spirit all over me. <laughs> Come on, saints. <laughs> Come on with the white dress. But, um... Uh, even when I do get married, like, you shouldn't have walked your tail over here. We, If I'm married and you married, what are we talking about? Like, how to make a marriage work? I, I don't understand that. Discussing marriage retreats. Yes. Stop saying we need to discuss what your wife do have. Come, come on. My hell come what? on. I, I, don't, no. I, I don't get, I don't know. I, for me, it's one of those things that's definitely a precautionary tale because... It seems more commonplace now. And I always thought as a young girl that if a married person had an affair, it's because the single person pursued them. When in actuality, it's no. usually the other way around. It's the other way. Now, these days, I can say it's probably the other way around. Now, it's probably just up to the person if they want to deal with that. And some girls, they're just me. I just listen to my mom in my head. Like, you cannot yeah. do that because karma come back to you. Yeah. and. You just don't do stuff like that. Because I don't want whenever God. Yes. Father. Come on. Send me a husband. I don't want to have to have that on my country. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I I have morals. No. Yeah. I respect your marriage. Yeah. And I mean, I, it's getting to a point where it's like they're not even respecting their own marriages. I mean, going back to the whole Tinder thing, which if you didn't see, definitely go back to the first episode. Because that's was talking about that. But. Mm -hmm. You look on these apps, and there they are posing together, looking for a third to come into the bedroom. I wish I would. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't share cookies, so I know I do. No. Look, look, I don't know. Uh, no, 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 that's mine. That's mm -mm. mine. Mm -mm. Don't, like, no. Girl. No. I'm getting made. Okay, no. Let <laughs> no. I wish you would. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, that's mine. I waited and prayed it, and no. twerked on that. What? No. Baby, what? Mm -mm. All right, so second question of the day. Well, I guess our first question for today. So I have a criteria for men to date me. Go on, girl, you should. You should. Yeah, no. <laughs> don't, right, don't enter into this world of dating thinking you're just going to take whatever comes because you're going to get whatever it get. And... Ooh. Right. Two... <laughs> Okay, so her criteria. He has to be taller than 6'1". <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I like to climb my tree. Uh -huh. He has to make six figures. Okay. okay. No kids. And be able to globally travel. Is this unrealistic? Okay. No. No. I don't think that's unrealistic. Now, the height thing, I know that's for me. Mm -hmm. I have, like, because I'm, I'm just a little short something. So, I, I like gentlemen that are taller than me. Mm -hmm. However, if he's sweet and all those things, other things come, that height doesn't matter. Right. But I do think if you want someone to possess all that, you got to have it just That's yourself. right. That's right. You gotta have it yourself. You can't yeah. say, I want a man that makes six figures and you make 
twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars a year at McDonald's. At McDonald's, mm-hmm. and I'm not hating on nobody working McDonald's mm-hmm. or Popeyes or whatever. Right. However, if you want those things, you gotta have the same qualifications. That's right. That's like you saying, I want a man with an eight hundred credit score and your credit score four hundred. That's just not gonna. That's right. not gonna match up. Right. And for me, like I don't think there's anything wrong with your list. I'm hoping that that's not all of your list because a lot of those things are superficial. Um, you know, those things will change. And uh, I hope that there are things that you're digging a little bit deeper for him. Like, yeah, he can have all these, but, you know, I need him to have a relationship with God. Or, you know, he has to be able to be with my kids or, or whatever you mm-hmm. see that it goes a little bit deeper. I agree with Tasha. Like, we were talking about how it's harder. Um, we're both, we both have degrees. We're both continuing our education. Mm-hmm. We both have desires to uh, br- broaden our branch. Broaden our brand. <laughs> Broaden our brand. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so we're working and we're we're working hard and it's not like um, it's one of those things where we really take days off. Like, we hustle. And so, I can't have you coming to me and I have to build up your hustle. I literally don't have time for it. I have too much going on. So, when I say that I want a man who has certain criteria, like she said, believe that I already have it or I'm working toward it. You know, I can't be mad at you wanting him to make so much money or make a certain amount of money because that means he could take care of you. That's right. huge. Yeah. yeah. That's huge. And once you've been spoiled by someone who has a certain amount of money, you you can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got to take out my nail money to pay for your stuff. Right. But I'm willing to do it. Yeah. If you have the right partner, you're yeah. willing to work with them and everything. I don't want to just be like, oh, you looking for a man and do all that. No. Right. It's, it's a balance. Because if yeah. you're in a household together... I am the one like, okay, honey, you need this. I need this. We have each other. I don't want it to be like, oh, you just want somebody with money. No, you want somebody with money that can provide yeah. and take care of a household. Yeah. I grew up with men that provided for yes. the household. Yeah. A woman, she provided too if it came into the household, but you want somebody that can take lead and run your house. Yes. Yes. You do. Yeah, and I mean, you've been single, or at least I've been single for a while. I've had to wear one too many hats. I shouldn't have to cook the meal, clean the kitchen, and take out the trash. No. And figure out my, if my oil needs changing. Girl, what? <laughs> I was burn my motor out. I have my bro. Boy, how you? I think my car won't start, but I don't think no oil in it. See? <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with right, it. Right, right. So, no, it's not unrealistic, but definitely make sure that you are in check, that you have your stuff together, and hopefully this isn't just inclusive of your list, that mm-hmm. you have everything else. You have other things going on with it, okay? I really hope y'all enjoyed that video. Uh, if you have any questions that you would like for the sisters to answer, please let us know. Comment below or shoot us a note. Don't forget to subscribe and like these videos. All right. Bye.